the following is stated in the 14th verse of the chapter of al Muminun. Then we then made we the made sperm, sperm into a clot, clot of congealed of blood. Blood, blood. Then of that, then clot, of that clot, we made, we made a, a photus, photus lump. lump, lump. With this verse, the Quran points to some stages of man in the mother's womb. The first stage mentioned in the verse is the stage in which the drop, that is, the nutfa, turns into clinging clot, that is, the alaka. The second stage is the stage in which the clinging clot, that is, the alaka, turns into a lump of chewed meat. In this proof, we want to analyze the stage of turning into a lump of chewed meat, which is mentioned in the verse. Indeed, the embryo in the womb is in the appearance of a lump of chewed meat, both because of its smallness and unformed bones. Besides, it is interesting that the embryo has a shape as if it has tooth marks on it during a certain period while in the womb. That is why the expression of the Quran, a lump of chewed meat, is a miraculous statement, which is absolutely correct. The expression a lump of chewed meat is mentioned in the fifth verse of the chapter of al Hajj as a morsel of flesh, partly formed and partly unformed. Indeed, at this stage the embryo is perceptibly visible, but so inappreciable in shape that it is impossible to comprehend its details, and thus it is in complete compliance with the Quran's expression. A morsel of flesh, partly formed and partly unformed. It is very suitable to use the expression a morsel of flesh, partly formed and partly unformed, for the stage in which some single body parts of man become perceptible, but some other parts not such perceptible as head, body, or internal organs. Professor Dr. Keith L. Moore says the following about the stage which is mentioned as a lump of chewed meat in the Quran. We learned what the aforementioned verses mean in astonishment when we examine the embryo of this stage. For there becomes a string of beads appearance on the embryo on and around the 28th day, and they identically look like tooth marks and appearance. We made a plastic model of the embryo of this stage and marked with our teeth marks by chewing it. The generated model extremely looked like the embryo of the stage of which we were examining and that explained very well why the Quran describes the human embryo as a lump of chewed meat. Now, let us analyze the result that stems from this proof and find the following answer. How can we explain the fact that the Quran stated 1400 years ago that the human embryo would resemble a lump of chewed meat in a phase in the mother's womb, which was discovered in the last century with the advancement of medicine. There are only two possibilities. Either the Quran is the Book of Allah, who created man and transformed him into the shape of a lump of chewed meat in the mother's womb, or Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, who could not read or write, discovered this fact on his own and wrote it in his book, God forbid. It is not possible for any sane person to accept the second alternative. Therefore, the Quran is the pre-eternal word of Allah as the miraculous verses that astonish man express and Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger.